brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Green Bay Packers. Here now to get us started is Logan Cook. And off we go from Lambeau. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Rodgers going to come out throwing. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Jags grab it. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Another big play is they get 28 out of that one. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. They go play action with Lawrence. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags are going to take possession of the football. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Got it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now give DTN running right. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first down, right back to ETN. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The defense was ready for the run-pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Lawrence. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jags come up empty on fourth down, and the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Rodgers' throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I know I spent a lot of time talking about tight ends in a lot of cases now picked up wide receivers, but they're still big people. But he used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. On second down, Dillon. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing now is Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he's going to have a Packers first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jet sweep. Here's Watson. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. 
Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On second down, it's Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That good for 19 and a first down. To make plays in the passing game on this drive. Here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Normally being a big body receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Rodgers. Able to find Lazard. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Rodgers will throw for it. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So why go for that there? First half, you could have tied the game at seven. Why try to get the lead? Feels like an analytics call, doesn't it? That that's starting to really get into the game where they're studying where you can make extra points and the whole deal and, you know, get an advantage. But I don't know that we have enough data yet to really say this is the right play or the wrong play. Maybe in two or three more NFL seasons. Could change. Exactly. Two or three more NFL seasons, they can have a much better better study and much better case of what we're going to do. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Yeah. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Lawrence. Looking downfield for Jones. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. 
And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. And they'll try the left side with ETM. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Another tote for ETN. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis ETN taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Jaguars will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And his kick is no good. Misses the PAT, a mistake there. And this remains a seven-point game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisko. An unfortunate sequence there. Trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Second and five now. Lawrence flush to his right. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Patterson's kick is good. And that one makes this a 10-point game at 16-6. to well, Charles, I think you'd have to call that a win for the defense after the turnover already in field goal range, and they had to settle for three. Yeah, being the beautiful part is you start so close to the end zone that your thought process on offense has to loosen up a little bit because you're thinking to yourself, you're almost guaranteed three. Let's take some good shots at the end zone and try and turn it into six. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start to drive it to 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. A give running right, ETN. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And he'll go again with ETN. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Toss left side for ETN. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. Eight yards to go on second down. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Hey, you block over here. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's got Rome. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 33 and a first. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Rodgers. Blitz coming and down he goes. Josh Allen, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Rodgers now to throw. Toward the sideline, it's complete, an athletic grab, but still well short of the first. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Hey, 26. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. 
Finds Lazard quickly on the slant. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. A handoff for ETN. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and 11 now, Lawrence. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough one. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's Logan Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. Right? It's not like you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw brought in by Watson. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. 102 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On the delay, Jones. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And the Jags, Charles, I think they're on the dime here. Covering a lot of field. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags are going to take possession of the football. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Lawrence. And incomplete on the deep ball. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. On second down, a run with ETN. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. Throwing now, Lawrence. Man open, here is Jones. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. A handoff running left is ETN. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. And they'll run with ETN. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher. The Oh, and now they're going to fake it. That's caught inside the 10. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When he'd line up, go ahead, and, oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. Roger. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goalpost right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big... Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. And he is out of bounds here. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner. And one side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game.